TB Nation, what's going on, y'all? I pray that all of y'all have had a great day today. Hey, real quick before we get into today's video, please like, please comment, and subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to our channel. On today's channel, we are getting ready to cook some Cornish hens. Cornish hens today. We got our Cornish hens set right here. We got two Cornish hens. All of the ingredients have already been prepared. Hey, it's going to be a great day, y'all. Sit back and relax. We're cooking Cornish hens in the oven. All right, TP Nation, we're getting ready to prepare this one today. All right, so we've got our Cornish hens already go. We got onions cut up. We got some lamb chops. We're not going to cook the lamb chops tonight. We got our, our, our ingredients already ready to go. So what we're going to do is go ahead and season that. This week. We got our mixture. We've got seasoned salt. we got lemon pepper. And we've got some poultry seasoning in here as well. So you take the olive oil and you rub it all over the Cornish hens just like this. Make sure you got good oil all over your Cornish hens. Then what you want to do is take that season and pour that season all over the whole hens. You want to pour that season all over those hens. Pour that season all over those Cornish hens. Are you pouring the season all over here? It's, uh, I guess you can pour it inside too. Pour it on the inside, good. Now we got our Cornish hands based down the seasons all over them pretty good. We we'll take them and place them inside the pan. We got our oven on at 375 degrees. Now, let me wash my hands off real quick. All right, so we washed off now. We're gonna take some bell pepper. chopped up onion and what you want to do with that chopped up onion is you want to stick it inside of the chicken's cavity. You stick it inside the cavity. Chopped up onion. Stick it inside the cavity. We need some celery. We're going to take one stalk of celery as well. We got one stalk of celery. We're going to take that. Push it inside the cavity of the Cornish hands as well. Stick it inside the... Right. Stick it inside the cavity of that Cornish hand. Now, also calls for some bell peppers. Bell peppers. I don't have any green peppers. I've got red and yellow and orange. I feel, I feel like being lucky today. Let's try some. I think they all must pretty much taste the same. I think they all pretty much taste the same. Would y'all not agree? Bell peppers are bell peppers. Let's try a, let's try a yellow. A yellow bell pepper. We're going to put in our Cornish hands today. We'll cut it in half, remove all the seeds out of it. And then thinly slice it. See what it tastes like. It's good. I can tell you it's good. I'm going to finish like this bell pepper up. Then it's like I should have already had this ready to go for the sake of time. But we're going to slice this all up, guys. We're going to take this sliced yellow bell pepper, stick it inside the cavity of this Cornish hen. Stick it inside the cavity of the Cornish hen. All right, we push it inside. So last time we cooked on the channel, we did cook um, the roasted lamb roast. 
It was a Lego band. It did turn out well. So thank y'all for your comments about that. It turned out well. It was really well seasoned. I liked it. And this weekend, like I said, we'll probably do. I got some lamb um, chops out right now. I do got some lamb chops out to prepare. So we'll probably cook those lamb chops tomorrow. But I want to go ahead and season it 24 hours in advance. So we got the yellow bell peppers. We're going to stick it inside the cavities. Now, if you look and see, this can is already well seasoned and it's inside the cavity of this Cornish hen. Now, I stole this on, let's wash our hands. Alright, so now we have stuffed our cabinet, our stove is ready. We stuff with onions. Uh, let's see, I think I want to put some other type of seasoning on here as well. I think I want to add some seasoning on here. So let's see what can we add. For some reason I just want to add something else. I thought about some garlic, but I'm not going to do that. Um, let's add some paprika and some parsley. Just to make it pretty. You want to make it pretty. Everybody likes the food to be pretty, so let's make this pretty. So let's put some parsley on there. Put some parsley. Parsley on there. And then we're going to put some paprika on there as well. Just to make it pretty. Now, I don't understand the deal with paprika. Paprika has no flavor whatsoever, but it does add some form of prettiness. Charles, hand me the butter out of the refrigerator. I've got Charles here helping me out. Hand me the butter. All right. We are going to dab it with just a little bit of butter. Hey, guys. In the cavity. So we can add some flavor on there just to put it out. Hey guys. Alright. So now this is what our Cornish hens look like before they go in the oven. And I'll let you see when they come out. We're gonna cook them. I'll tell you how long. One minute, Charles said. You said one minute, Charles? No, not one minute. Hey guys. Hey guys. Look, Sony the TV. All right, we're gonna cook these corner chains for about one hour. One, one hour, hour, I said. I one hour. All right, so here are our Cornish hens going in. Nice and pretty. Yep. Make the pretty. Nice Cornish hens, we're gonna put them in. Yep. We're gonna set our timer for one hour. Bam, Cornish hens is now cooking. All right, TP Nation, we'll get back to you and let you see the finished product. This is All right, get ready to cut them and just see what they look like on the inside. You seem to be pretty done. Yep. See me pretty done all the way through. Oh man, look at that juice coming out of there, guys. Mmm. This looks good. So I think we got a success on our Cornish hens today. Let's see. Breast is cooked well. All of the vegetables are cooked in there. Yep, everything looks good. 
Let's do a close up on our Cornish hens. I told y'all about the seasoning. Everything looks really, really good. 